Sure, this is our new F-Series. It's our tier four inner machine. Uh, we're getting ready to go to production here next month. And we've taken this machine and done a little redesign to accommodate the tier four um, fuel system. As you can see on the machine, we've got a little more narrow nose to that machine to get our engine and cooling capacity uh, in operation. With that, we've been able to redesign the entire structure of the backhoe loader. So we, uh, our new frame is redesigned. With that, we redesigned our loader arms. And with that, we've, we've brought out longer loader arms, which gives us about five to 7% more production from a breakout force and lift capacity. And with those new loader arms, we're getting about six inches more dump clearance versus our previous series. Dustin, how does this tractor fit into the lineup of CAT backhoe? Yes, we have four different models of CAT backhoe loaders. This is the 430. We have two models smaller, the 420 and the 416, and then one larger, the 450. What uh, new features does this machine have? I noticed the cab's a little bit different. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, the operating environment is, uh, we pride ourselves in a, a very spacious operating environment, very comfortable for the operator. Um, as you see the cab here in the glass, when we come around the back of the machine, the we have what we call our pilot controls. And the seat will spin around, and those pilot operate controls operate the back end of the machine. With the new F-Series, we've improved our hydraulic performance. We brought in an electronic pump controller, which allows us to uh, adjust the hydraulics for more responsiveness to the operator, so we get more production on the back end of the machine. So when we talk about um, adaptability, how does this machine adapt for an operator and what is the benefit for them to implement this into their lineup opposed to a different cat? This F-Series, and from an operator standpoint, we have a, a control ch pattern changer. So if you're used to operating excavator stall controls, you can operate that pattern, or you can switch to a more, uh, a, what we call the case pattern, so it accommodates to whichever operator is more comfortable. You mentioned briefly the Tier 4 technology yes. included in this tractor. Can you tell us more about that and about cat strategy as far as Tier 4 is concerned? Yes. If we're going to walk around the front of the machine. For our Tier 4 interim, as I mentioned before, we had to narrow the nose of the machine. We brought our cooling package up to the front, so that gives us more serviceability. We've changed that as well as we don't need any additional tooling to get into the, to the engine for serviceability. On the front, when we just loosen these two bolts here, we can raise that cooling package up. This is your air conditioning condenser. Here in the front, we have our hydraulic and our transmission cooler, and we do those side by side so we get more surface area and that allows us to get better cooling capacity, more efficiency for the machine. We loosen these two bolts here. That folds down, so if you're in a, a high debris environment, you can get in, blow out the debris to keep that airway cool, and then you've got your radiator. Also, on ground level, we brought the engine disconnect. So we really try to make serviceability a key point so the operators can get those, those service points done Smart. easily every day. Tier 4 technology is what we're running is a, we call it a passive system. So what that means is, as we are getting our emissions, we have a particulate filter, which is located in this, this black casing here, but allows us to generate heat from the natural operation of the machine. The filter there will sense that it has a soot buildup, and we'll use the heat generated to burn that off and then provide the emissions into the environment. Now, as a lot of times the machine will sit in idle and will not generate that heat, so we've got a back pressure valve a back pressure valve integrated into the system. So if we need to build enough heat to burn that off, it will sense and do that for us. With our tier four technology, we're seeing great fuel efficiency enhancement over previous series, anywhere from 15 to 20% improvement over right. tier three. Especially in agriculture, uh, a lot of customers use this on their operation for tiling. 
in their fields, uh, general utility around the, the operation for cleaning out fence rows. Uh, on the back end, you can get a thumb if you're clamping, moving trees, moving debris, uh, putting in water lines for either your home, your barn, uh, those type of applications. Snow removal in the winter on the bucket front end, but it's really a, a good versatile machine uh, to use around the farming operation. Yes, the new F-Series will start shipping in late May, or late April, I'm sorry, and will start arriving on their dealer yards late May. Great, thank you so much. Okay.